In this quick demo of using Dream Report with OSI Pi Historian, we'll start off by opening the Dream Report Designer Studio and then create a new project. Once the project opens, in the Communication Driver configuration, we'll select the OSI Pi Asset Framework Historical Values Driver and configure it with the required parameters. Since this driver exposes the Pi sampling or retrieval modes, we could have also configured those here. For now, we'll leave it as defined at the attribute level. Note that we also have drivers for Asset Framework real-time values and traditional OSI Pi access for non-Asset Framework configurations. Next, we'll create a new report and add a few reporting objects. We'll start with a line chart and add a few tags. Note the tag browsing from the Asset Framework. Now let's summarize a set of Pi tags using the automatic statistical table. Again, we'll browse for the tags. Set up a time period to report over and then select a set of calculations. We won't spend much time formatting in this quick example. Finally, we'll add a simple table to show the raw logged values from a set of tags. We could change column captions and do additional formatting if needed. Let's save the report design and start the runtime engine. Now that that's done, let's open the portal and we can select the report and generate it. Of course, this report could be scheduled to run on any schedule or be triggered automatically on an event, such as at the end of a batch. So here's the report output. Since the Pi Historian hasn't been running for long, we see a gap of data here, so I probably should have chosen a different date range. We could dynamically generate the report right from the web portal, or we could redesign the report to actually give the user a custom start and end time selector to generate the report over whatever time period they want. So let's go back into Studio and we'll web enable this report. We can place our own date and time pickers for the start and the end times. And a button to refresh the report with a selected date range. Right, so let's save this and reload the report and go back to the web portal. Once we're in the web portal, we'll open the web version of the report, set a date range using these custom date and time pickers we added, and then generate it. We can also click on the trend to view or export the raw data from Pi. Thanks for watching.